only tend to smoke really nice stuff. Otherwise, I just don't bother smoking. It's the lightest, most creative, most inspiring weed. Yeah. yeah, it's very sensual. These men are cannabis connoisseurs. What it's like for me to be stoned is... It's much deeper. Much deeper than your straight, I've just got to deal with stuff, consciousness, mm. I've got to pay my bills and I've got to go to the post office and all. It's contemplation. I mean, I love smoking it right at the end of the day. Then I can think about the day and what it means and find, find meaning in it. Contemplate, absolutely. And now the next generation of users are starting younger and smoking more. I love to wake up and have a split. I love to have a split before I go to bed. I think it's great. Oh, really? We'd even smoke in the playground. In the playground on the benches. Lay school and smoke some more. Yeah. Come to the park, have some more. But we enjoy it so much. Over the last two decades, cannabis use among under 16s has increased tenfold. Tonight, we examine new scientific research and ask how much harm is cannabis doing to the mental health of young smokers. So when did you guys start smoking? Start of year seven, really. Mm. So we're talking 11 to 12 year old kids. Yeah. yeah. And you're telling me that you had your first spliffs, your first yeah. joints when we you weren't were smoking. Yeah, 11, it, it, 12. It was, it, was a, it was about then, yeah. We weren't smoking as much as no, no, first year. I mean, no. that is quite young to yeah. start taking yeah. any drug, really, you know, anything. Yeah. Can you tell me some slang names for cannabis? Puff. Puff. Weed. Pot. Green. Green. Yeah. Skunk. Skunk. Grass. A drug education class for 12-year-olds. By the age of 16, 38% of British children will have tried cannabis. Almost one in 10 will be a regular user. How many of you know people that smoke it? We don't want any names. 